Hi guys, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I have a 12-sign read for you guys today. So everything Aries through Pisces. This was done last night at 10.29. I actually did a 12-sign read the day before. If I have time, I may pull in some of the energies from that. One of the messages that came through on the 9th, I did want to bring through, um, is that Scorpio got good catch. That was an important message. So I'm going to get into this read. I'm shuffling again. I'm going to re-clarify. I've already uh, put the cards down because I do tend to channel. And it's better for me if I um, channel the messages alone. That's just how I work. So that's why the cards are put down ahead of time. And even if you did prearrange cards, if you do intuitive channeling, it really doesn't matter because Spirit's going to bring through the correct messages anyway. Because I don't always bring through the messages that the cards depict, so it really doesn't matter. Not that I do that, but just letting you guys know. Depends on how you read, okay? So, I have this spread and then I have another spread, like I said, from the 9th. This was from the 10th, last night at 1029. And I clarified it already and put my notes and channeling mess channeled messages down. And now I'm going to clarify again for you now. Okay, So I'm still shuffling my little mini uh, Rider weight deck. The deck down there is the Universal Golden Tarot. All right, and here we go. So um, where's my pointer? I have, so this starts in Aries. Through Pisces, right? So this is fire signs, earth signs, air signs, and water signs. These are the underlying energies from the bottom of the deck. This was the top card, so across, and then this would be the next one after that. And then I have some closing cards. I have four cards after the read as well. I'll get to that when I'm finished doing the main read, okay? Um, if you can't see very well, this is the four of pentacles. This is the three of wands. This is the ace of cups. And this is the Ten of Wands. Um, Aries got the King of Cups. Taurus, the Eight of Swords. Gemini, the Moon. Cancer, the Hierophant. Leo, the Sun. Virgo, the Nine of Cups. Libra, the Chariot. Scorpio, the King of Pentacles. Sagittarius, the Lovers. Capricorn got the Knight of Cups. Aquarius got the Devil. And Pisces got the Page of Pentacles. All right, so first thing we're going to do is clarify Aries, and then I'm going to start going through the underlying energies with you that I have channeled already, and then we're going to uh, feed into it the new information, okay? So with Aries, we have the King of Cups here, and we have it clarified with the Three of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. All right, so the underlying energy is for everyone at the top there. Uh, was, like I said, four of pentacles, three of wands, ace of cups, and the ten of wands. Uh, the Scrooge was coming up here with the poker face, presently in love, but carrying burdens, suddenly rolling in, in a bold move, back to the present. Instead of back to the future, back to the present. A sudden move or travel triggered out of the cage you've been in, in a good way. Confession of love to start over again, or loving self by dropping responsibilities or burdens and unsatisfactory love you've been just putting up with. Okay, so that was the summary. I'm going to give you the summary from uh, the ninth too, just so you have a different perspective, because they the, the two days were definitely two different perspectives. So on the ninth, and that was done at 11.01 p.m., the underlying energies were the high priestess, psychic energy, running back to see her to go forward and lead the way to the king of pentacles suddenly the secrets out falling short in the 5d to lead the way scorpio good catch expressing feelings about leaving work but over it leaving to master manifestation immature communication silent treatment or mean words spying stalking defenseless to fighting or harsh energies or just playing around Okay, so performing or sports, things like that. Okay, so that was the underlying energy from the ninth. So with, um, I also did summary for um, all four elements. So fire was just quickly flips perspective into love or sunshine. Earth, present and bold, free to pursue happiness and love. 
So fire signs, for those of you who are not familiar, is Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Um, Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and um, Virgo. And water is Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. And of course, air is um, Libra, Aquarius, and who am I blanking out on? Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. I'm sorry about that. Um, Gemini is a big deal today, so that might be why it's, it's um, having difficulty coming up with the name. So for earth signs, present and bold, free to pursue happiness and love. So it was very positive for earth signs. Air signs was a little bit darker side of the moon. Love confessions, emotional detox of chaos, and plowing right through all obstacles in your way, the calm before the storm, the propulsion to go on and forward, through insecurities, manipulations, leaps and bounds, the devil's awakening, the light's reckoning, emotions boil up to explode in channeled form. All right, that was air. Then for water, burden, starting over in love, the hierophant or marriage, the king of pentacles and page of pentacles, like father, like son, like grandson. The burden of the traditional patriarchy and ransom. Okay, so that was the summary for the elements. As we get into Aries, which was the king of cups, the loving man with screwed tendencies and truth in hand out of control or triumph in ego or death or an older man and sudden truth, okay? So, or an older man out of control but no match for you Got you so pissed, holding on so tight, told them the truth. All right, so you suddenly came out with it because somebody pushed your buttons. Thinking long and hard on how you got here. Associating with prisoners or just the wrong group of people. Walking on sunshine, connected to Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Libra, and air signs in general. Okay, that's Aries. And then now we have the, now we have the three of pentacles reversed and the five of cups upright. So it looks like there was a, um, somebody might have left a job or not getting along at work or some kind of creative endeavor um, and are having trouble letting go of it. So whatever they've left, whatever group or endeavor or workplace, um, and it can just be any kind of gathering in a practical nature, it's, it's, it's like you left it or it could be a third party through that place um, Aries is feeling very sad, regretful, lost, anything like that, those energies about. It also has to do with passing the baton from the third to the fourth baton, so not letting go of the third baton to get the fourth, right? Because you're still clinging to the old. So that's Aries. Then we have um, Taurus, which is the eight of swords. The prisoner at home or marriage, but the worst is over at present, making bold moves or traveling. You don't need to see. You knowing what self-happiness means in your own world connected to cancer and air signs in general weighing on Virgo but keeping to yourself with the eight of swords so let's see what comes up today for the uh, the Taurus energies here all right so we have um, the strength card reversed and the two of Pentacles so Taurus is feeling weak or just needing courage or dealing with a Leo um, and just, you know, kind of juggling your daily duties in order to avoid what you need to deal with. So that's why you're in that mental prison. Um, just be needing to reconnect and be more present. Um, it's, it's saying that, you're, that you already know what self-happiness means. But be, staying to yourself in your own world is kind of throwing you back into your head again. Right, so if you keep to yourself, even though you are in your knowing and being present, it's very easy to go back into your head if you imprison yourself at home or marriage. Like, so you're in, a, you're stuck in a situation you don't want to be in, even though you know who you really are, your authenticity, but you're keeping to self. So this is like, you know, doing, you know, going back to balancing, but you're not. It's just going back to the same old routine when you need the courage to break out of this prison, out of this home, out of this marriage. That's Taurus, all right? So Gemini comes up. Gemini was a lot of crap today, okay? So you can see the moon is there. 
we have the ace on top, the ace of cups there on top of the air column, which is, you know, can be about new love, spiritual love, and self love. And it's very much about uh, Gemini today needing to love themselves first. Emotional and secretive dealing with out of control devil and the hermit, shedding light on the chaos. Loving self first, dropping burdens, isolating to detox at night, lighting the dark confessions connected to Capricorn, Virgo, and Libra may require medical attention and or ambulance to help fight the devil. Aquarius was coming up as that, as you can see. A big head, possibly a player, an actor, or athlete, right? So someone with a big head. Coming up there is the horny devil as well. All right. Also, um, it doesn't look good for the Gemini. Gemini could be thinking about hurting themselves or could hurt themselves or flip out or start a fight. All right, so that's Gemini. And we're going to pull some new cards on Gemini, see what comes up. All right, Gemini, what's up with the moon there? <sighs> that flew out. All right, and there's some, um, I'm not going to pull these, but these came out kind of loosely too with um, the cards, so let's see if they help. So we have the five of swords there reversed, okay, and then the two of cups reversed, which is disconnecting, whether it's from yourself or with someone. And then the five of swords reversed is about ending the war within self and without, right, maybe by letting go of someone else outside of yourself in order to surrender, you know, that's, Letting, putting down the swords, possibly apologizing, but poly, apologizing to disconnect, right? Stopping the war, no longer needing to connect, and just letting go, which can be a surrender. So that may be a very good thing, okay? All right, so some of the cards that also wanted to come out here were the Eight of Wands reversed, the Seven of Wands reversed, and the King of Cups reversed, Okay, so that is, um, you know, not expressing your feelings, um, not a lot of communication back and forth. It could be some confusion, feeling a little, you know, out of your head, right? Um, could be feeling defenseless to the energies or attacks from other people. And where they should be not caring what other people think, they're emotionally detaching because they can't handle it right now. Gemini is just really struggling, especially at night, waxing towards this full moon. They're going to need to release big at this full moon. Um, also, these two cards were coming up if it's helpful. Okay, so we have the King of Swords and the Four of Swords, both upright, okay, which is very strong, strongly being their truth, resting, meditating, just taking quiet time out. There could have been a death. Um, and it's connecting in the 5D, but this is being in your truth, so this is good. So whatever Gemini is going through, this could be them, or this could be someone they're connecting to because of all this other prior energy that they've gone through in the surrender. Okay, it was just so much, so overwhelming that they collapsed physically or mentally or just gave up, and then that flips everything into the place they need to be, okay? And, the, and as I'm shuffling, the devil was on the bottom of the deck again. So you see that the devil very much connects. But the devil was on this card yesterday and then connecting to Aquarius down here. Okay. So there's a lot of surrendering going on. And whatever hasn't been surrendered up to this point will probably get surrendered. You know, this full moon coming up. There's a big push towards that with all the emotions coming out in Cancer. Um, and then we get into the Cancer Energies, which is the Hierophant there. Burdened by marriage or Taurus. Contract commitment, church, tradition, establishment, or God. The King of Pentacles versus the King of Swords reversed. So here's another connection to Gemini that just came up. Um, not getting along. All right. So yesterday, the King of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles was upright on the Hierophant and the King of Swords was reversed. All right. So that definitely can be... Cancer and Gemini there, not getting along. Taurus could be trying to get them to make peace, like they could be trying to be the peacemaker, 
or is one of them or religion versus establishment here? Shady dealings next door, towering over the king of pentacles, Scorpio, or all could be one person or two personas and a marriage. Connected to Libra and the earth signs in general. Okay, this is for Cancer. So let's see what comes up for Cancer now. So you seem to be very connected to Gemini and Taurus. And they have the Page of Cups, the, the Queen of Wands reversed, and the Star card. Okay, that's for Cancer here. So we have, again, the um, Aquarius energies there, too. So pulling Cancer... Pulling Cancer into the energies of here, which were all um, in the Gemini. So those three are definitely connected. Aquarius, Gemini, and and actually Aquarius. Yeah, Gemini and Cancer. Taurus is in there too. So, And you see that the moon in uh, Gemini is Cancer. So there's a very, uh, very involved dynamic right there. And that can even be the two that need to disconnect is between the Gemini and the Cancer. And Cancer is coming up with Taurus as well. And then now there's Aquarius. So the Page of Cups could be that Cancer offering a little love or friendship to the Gemini. But the Queen of Wands, if there's a fire sign involved there or is that Cancer, she's either just really tired or really pissed that she has to be the one to offer that, okay? And this could be separate from the Page of Cups too. The Page of Cups could be a very loving energy, the Cancer energy, it can be Pisces as well, but giving, you know, it could be all be the same person within their chart. But that energy being very loving and giving to the Gemini, but then there's this Queen of Wands reversed who could also have Aquarius in her chart who is, and she's reversed, which is not good energy. You know, she could be really pissed or vengeful. She wants her dreams. She may say she's healing, but she's really, after, she has her own agenda. She wants her dreams. And so she may be offering something to Gemini because she has an agenda. So be careful of that. Then we have, um, then we have Leo over, over here, which is the sun, okay? Um, yesterday, or on the 10th, Leo was really powerful too, but I'm not positive it was in a good way. Let me tell you what was there for Leo because it was so strong. Leo on the 9th was boldly moving, emperor, judge, and king of pentacles all upright, right? So you had the sun with the Emperor Upright, the Judge, you know, the Justice card Upright, and the King of Pentacles. Three businessmen on a mission. Cancer, Aries, Libra, connected to water signs, possibly taking on Sagittarius. Leo prepared, moving or traveling, possibly court or audit. Scorpio and Cancer involved. Aries crying to you or dumping on you about a Sagittarius. Sagittarius grounding waiting outside to examine the opportunity or take exam, waiting on deliberations of a board and or a Leo. So there's some kind of uh, meeting here and group. Uh, so like I said, it could be very official with these three men upright. I don't know how positive it was or someone just like gathering a group or a legal team to intimidate someone else. So that's why I wanted to bring up this um, Leo stuff from the ninth. So today, uh, or yet, you know, last night, happy, energized, dealing with kids, or fully exposed, the Queen of Pentacles and King of Cups. Um, Aries. Oh, uh, they're they. Leo may be burning the people around them. Aries, Sagittarius, um, or Gemini, or shining light on two good people, lovers perhaps, or two not talking or going their separate ways, but amicably. Possibly due to all about money only, or stinginess or clinginess, sudden events, trauma, explosions, epiphanies, or drama, 
possible all far, fire signs involved here connected to Cancer, Aries, Capricorn, Libra, possibly Pisces, and or father and daughter not talking. The Queen of Pentacles switching from the King of Cups to the King of Wands, who never said anything about things that she saw, synchronicities or radiation, hopefully not poisoning a Pisces child or student vomiting, or Leo trying to take them down by connecting the two, but some, it was something actually they did. So that's why be careful with the Leo energy. It's coming off as really strong, but they may feel entitled, so they may be coming upright, becoming upright in that energy because they feel entitled to this, even though it's totally not right. So they might be trying to actually um, pin something they did on someone else. So definitely radiation poisoning or other kind of poisoning was coming up. Um, I don't know if Munchausen's is coming up here, right? Um, somebody who knew something but never said anything about what they saw. And then like, a, like if it was radiation or something or synchronicities. Um, so, you know, they're guilty by not doing anything about it, right? So just, if, if this applies to you, you're going to understand what it means. So please pay attention um, because it's very important there. And that might be where there's some officials coming in to check out the situation to see if it was right. Um, yeah, so let's see what new cards comes up for Leo. That will be important. Leo, 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 Leo. Today is July. Welcome 2019. Leo, Leo, Leo. All right, so here we have drawing Leo into that whole situation with Gemini because look what we have here for Leo. So Leo, and us actually, all right, see these are coming up again for Leo too, okay? The King of Swords and that Four of Swords. So that was definitely related to Gemini at rest or connecting in the 5D and struggling. So now we have uh, Leo connecting to Gemini and Aquarius very strongly, and then Cancer was connected too, but now we have here um, Pisces as well. So Pisces over here, and that's that child or student, all right, that was coming up. Yeah, so definitely that makes sense with what I just said, all right? So this is hanging, this is, see, and there's radiation too around the head, okay? So that's kind of confirming what I was bringing. You see the sun? It could be sun-reversed energy, which is uh, really feeling drained or being sick or ill, right? And I got a child throwing up and we're pulling Pisces into this. So, you know, be careful about what's going on in this situation. There literally could be Munchausen's here. Here we have uh, hanging out, could be in limbo or just being wise, trying to see another other perspectives because obviously all Leos aren't going to be doing something bad. And then we have um, separation and heartbreak could be, um, could be just stress in the chest as well and feeling that or just could be a third party situation. And it doesn't have to be in love. It could just be difficulties with that. And then the uh, the devil waiting hello. So somebody's addictions, addictions to depression, um, and that could be Munchausen's as well. But again, we're connecting this. There is a lot of isolation over here with this person. So they could be having a little, you know, going out of their head a little bit. And then here we have somebody who's actually being connected to the devil. So they may, they may be doing it. They may know about it. All right, by association, but not doing anything about it. And then they're the victim of it. So, you know, be aware of this. Definitely Aquarius, Gemini, and Leo. All right, and then so we have Capricorn, Pisces here too. So Capricorn's brought into it too here. So this could be the same this, or these could be two kids of somebody, okay, connected here, because they came up together yesterday as well. It's all connected. Big mess, you guys. All right, so then we have uh, Virgo, which is Nine of Cups today. Getting over sadness, loss, grief, regret to stay balanced in self-happiness at present. Bold move or travel to be patient or be present, both, and get your wish. Feeling and supporting Taurus, who may be Re releasing self from a struggle and may be aware of the love Capricorn gives to self or to Aquarius or Queen of Cups reverse who doesn't deserve it. All right, so Capricorn may be having good intentions to help someone but may be helping the wrong person. Codependency there 
connected to Aries, Gemini, Capricorn, and air in general, the lovers, possibly Sagittarius and Pisces, aligned with Libra on, par on parallel tracks, flanked by exposure, and the King of Pentacles talking about it. Okay, so let's see what comes up for Virgo now. All right, so this is a very tangled web we're all weaving here. Everyone seems to be kind of intermingled here, interconnected. So for Virgo, July 11, 2019. All right, so here's the, uh, the King of Swords again coming up, all right? So we have the worst is over, and it's on top of the devil waving hello, which can just be a Capricorn. So for those those Leos who are their positive aspect, that could just be a Capricorn who's dealing with some separation issues, but hanging out and being wise, right? Everything being exposed. And don't forget the sun is all about exposure. So now with the, the Virgo, we have the worst is over, allowing the swords from that devil or the codependency or addictions to fall out of their back and receiving the bliss from the release of the pain with the king of swords or actually releasing them from the the codependency or responsibility that something is not their responsibility the king of swords comes up being in their truth uh, hanging out resting in quiet or meditating uh, connecting in the 5d that can definitely be a masculine coming into their truth and connecting with the feminine getting their wish um, but also can be you know legal military, police, it could definitely be someone that has passed already as well and maybe dealing with the burial or the service, okay? Letting the pain go. Um, someone may not be expressing because this card kind of wants to be falling out as well, which is the eight of wands reverse, right? Not expressing your feelings, not going back and forth, or it could just be no more back and forth of feelings or fighting or, um, or you know, too many feelings put out there. Now we're just putting it all to rest. Okay, that's very much about the Virgo energy there. All right, Libra. Libra with the chariot. This is a big one too. Uh, bulldozing through, moving or travel, an act of love or loss, confession or burden, an ambulance at night, or driving quickly through it all, like pushing their way through, or an old person hits someone driving because they can't see at night, or possibly it's two teens or kids in their 20s or someone on a rampage manipulator or mental disease pushing everyone out of the way to get help or to save someone from the devil or fight at the end of the road. Aquarius, Capricorn, Pisces with a big head. Um, a head injury, crazy person, or someone awakening or someone awakened by a fight going on. Medical rescue or war, someone could drive off a cliff lose their brakes or lose consciousness at the wheel or save the day okay so there's uh, always going to be contrasting information depending on you know you're reflecting the positive or the negative energies here so for libra let's see what else is coming up today because a lot of of crazy stuff going on here all right so judgment comes up all right here we go we have the judgment okay so judgment the King of Wands reversed and the Magician reversed. Not ideal energy. Uh, I'll leave these out just for a second because some other cards were coming loose just in case we need the backup information. Um, the Pisces here is related to the situation as well. So there's definitely a kid involved here or a student, all right? Maybe this was of the past too, like an adult now who had something awful happen to them when they were a student. And I'm coming back to, uh, just because I live in Pennsylvania, the Penn State issue where the kids were abused. Um, here is the masking getting messages, receiving their guidance or hearing the call to action. Also could be receiving a final decision or judgment. Also could be hearing announcements or just listening to YouTube videos about twin flames and things like that. But we have the King of Wands reversed, which is someone who's, you know, pissed off or just exhausted, can't take it anymore. We have here, you know, this is he's out of control. This can be mental illness as well, okay? So that's definitely insecurities, feeling you don't have the tools, but all those things lead into manipulative tendencies or evil tendencies, especially this card. And this guy, these two combination is not good because he feels like he's losing his mind or is, could be an old person, right, who's doing something, like a lot of those things could be an old person because they're, 
you know, starting with Alzheimer's, so they're doing inappropriate things or dangerous things, driving, things like that. Could be an old person easily um, um, hitting someone, right? Because I got hit by a car by an old woman who couldn't see at all. Um, so all these things are coming out, but this is some... Uh, This is a wake-up call for the Divine Masculines in general, okay? You didn't do what Source, God, Creator um, was asking of you. You weren't listening to your guidance. You weren't listening to your intuition. So this is definitely some fall that's happening with them. But you see this energy. Yesterday was literally, I think this might have been in the middle yesterday with like two kids flanked on either side. I think it was the Fool over here. And the Knight of Pentacles over here who were upright, but this was reversed in the middle. And there was like this bulldozing through and these two like being flung either way, right? So it's definitely someone getting hit. Um, yeah. But I'm getting more, I mean, this could be physically injured, right? Because he's the man of passion, right? So he could have been taken down. But this is more mental disease than physical or just someone needing to go to the doctor. Okay, as simple as that too, all right? Because it's going somewhere. This is definitely ambulance energy as well. All of the stuff I already mentioned. Plus now, um, the these three cards were coming out too after the other ones, all right? So we had this, the, um, the Seven of Cups reversed, the Two of Wands reversed, and the Five of Pentacles reversed, all right? So I'm going to put these back in the deck because they're just kind of afterthoughts. But um, it's about dumping emotions. It could be like uh, feeling out of control mentally, right? Because this upright can be too much overwhelming options. So you kind of lose it. Okay. But this is like if you lose it, it's forced letting go of attachments, right? Because you couldn't take any more. And then we have without option, you know. And without option being forced to be uh, either kicked out of somewhere because... Of what you were doing or uh, recovering or coming back someone letting you back like without they felt like they had no option but to let you back in but detaching from everything um, but maybe that wasn't the right decision okay and then we have that page of Pentacles here um, maybe someone needing to start over and allowing themselves be, to be a student again or just examine everything about the situation Okay, but there's definitely going to be more here, all right? So we're going to follow Pisces with um, Libra as well. So again, they're all intertwined here. It's hard to get um, different groups because I was thinking the Leo group and that Cancer group were kind of separate, but this is really drawing them all together. And these are involved down here too. So let's go on to uh, Scorpio. Oh, by the way, Libra was coming up connected to Earth signs, Gemini, Aries, and Virgo, possibly Capricorn, um, but definitely now along with um, Pisces as well. Gemini. So this could reference to Gemini up here and Aquarius, right? So definitely connected down here to Aquarius. All right, so Gemini, Aries, Virgo, possibly Capricorn, but Aquarius and Pisces as well. So this whole group, and I did get these four all, all interconnected as well with this read. All right, so Scorpio. Scorpio is the king of pentacles. Scorpio is more positive than most of the others. Um, and, you know, Virgo wasn't bad either. Um, but Scorpio, like I said, had good catch on the ninth, and then they had the king of pentacles here. In good position, but with heavy responsibilities, happy like a kid again, naked and exposed, uh, hearing the call, his particular calling, final judgment or announcement, telling secret or telling all, cat out of the bag or feeling the love, even with the ignorant or unaware, unconnected to higher self. So Scorpio may be, you know, very much in his higher self and understanding other people around him may not be. Uh, maybe thinking of marriage or commitment, contract, establishment, religion, tradition, and possibly having children or just thinking about it, or sitting on an opportunity, unsure whether to take it or not. Connected to Leo, Aquarius, Capricorn, Pisces, and Cancer, um, and just fire signs in general. Speaking to a group or a crowd, overseeing men on the front line, calling the shots with Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, and Leo specifically in their field. Okay. So let's see what else comes up for Scorpio here. 
All right, Scorpio, 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 King of Pentacles, July 11, 12, 19. What's coming up for Scorpio? There we go. Okay, so we have the... All right, so that says it all. Scorpio's pretty good today. They're doing well in the love department. Sorry, just need to adjust there. Yeah, look at that. The next three cards for Scorpio. Ten of Pentacles, Page of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. Beautiful for Scorpio. You can't ask for more than that. You've got the Lovers and the Ace of Wands, the ultimate family, inspiration, and ultimate family fulfillment. And whatever cycle needed to end, just ended, okay? So Scorpio is doing great today. I am going to just leave this one other card out there. I'm not going to put them all out there because it's too much for, the, for this uh, spread. But I'm going to go into Sag. Maybe those cards will connect him to something else. All right, so also we have now, besides the lovers... And the passion can be a creative project that they're in love with as well. They could love their work immensely and be now headed towards their dream job or dream family. Okay, so that's perfect for Scorpio. Um, also, we have Gemini coming up there. All right, and uh, this I just shuffled a little bit, um, but Queen of uh, Queen of Pentacles coming up too. So I mean, <laughs> uh, Scorpio is doing great because he just got the Queen of Pentacles for the King of Pentacles. He could have found his match. Good, and I got good catch yes, on the ninth. Scorpio's got it made today. Oh, we just got it again. Queen of uh, Pentacles and Three of Cups just came up for Sagittarius. Oh, and the Queen and the uh, High Priestess as well. Let's see here. Sagittarius, suddenly in love. <laughs> that could definitely be with Scorpio. Offering new life to Capricorn or Queen of Cups reversed. After lots of stress and tears, purging or up nights. Or has, oh, or headaches, okay. So someone could be up nights or being having headaches as well, and that may be why they're up nights. Or their tears of joy, along with the Queen of Cups reversed, after a long road and a long strange trip it's been, came up this morning for me, but, and especially related to Aquarius, so it could be a relationship there between Sagittarius and Aquarius. They could have both in their chart. But after a long road with a friend or a Pisces, so Pisces there too, or it could be settling with the Queen of Cups reversed in a divorce to be with quiet or be with Queen of Pentacles, which came up there. Um, all exposed from above, bubble love, possible ending and beginning all at the same time to carry on, to carry on. So I was getting that for Sag. Connected to Gemini, Cancer, Capricorn and Virgo and now Scorpio as well and Pisces. Okay, so definitely uh, Scorpio and Pisces as well. Um, and you see this, the relationship of Scorpio and Pisces could be, um, right, father and, and son, father and child. doesn't have to be a masculine, but it can be. Um, all right, so for Sagittarius, the new cards, we just confirmed that the Queen of Pentacles is confirmed. That could definitely be Scorpio's lover because we have the King and the Queen of, of Pentacles. Beautiful. And the Three of Cups of coming together. All right, this is beautiful. With the High Priestess, this could definitely be a Twin Flame connection actually coming together now. Um, and we have the Queen of Cups as the next card here. Uh, another confirmation of this energy. Yesterday, the Queen of Cups reverse was on there. And they could definitely be, just be tears of joy in this connection here. And the Queen of Cups reverse was coming up in my other read with the Queen of Pentacles as the same person upright. All right, So it could be definitely someone crying tears of joy. And again, the other side could be the breakup because there's a breakup and then a new connection. All right, and also those Sagittarius could have intentions to rush in and get things done, but fall short, all right? So the energy may be in limit right now. All right, these two cards coming up uh, behind it. All right, so the Hermit Reverse could be coming out. Um, and then we have the Two of Swords Reverse, which is finding the clarification, the information that you needed. Um, but did you get that information in the right way? It could definitely be just um, over. This could be then the couple uh, over isolating on purpose because they're exhausted. 
uh, if they've been very sexual because they just came into union or just any couple, you know, uh, just hiding away. Or someone could be playing the other person, but I'm not getting that. Not with this read. It's too. It's too positive. Okay, but the uh, knight of the knight of wands reverse can be someone that's just frazzled in their energy because they because there's so much excitement. So it can definitely be twin flame energy where they can't handle the energy, so they have to kind of bounce off each other for a day and then come back. You know, just need a little break from the energies. Um, so over uh, over isolating again, but then coming out with it with all the information that you need, all right? So it could be over-isolating together also to now give each other all the information that was hidden from them before, all right? So that's definitely some positive info. Oh, and also the near-death near death or after-death experiences, okay? Dark Knight of the Soul comes up with the death card as well, all right? So there we have the new cards relating, uh, connecting Sagittarius as well to Pisces. And Scorpio. So let's go on to Capricorn, who's the Knight of Cups. Capricorn, presently moving or traveling, could be mom and two kids. Queen of Cups reverse with Knight of Cups and Page of Cups, okay, which could relate to what I was just telling you about. All right, so the Page of Cups relates up here to Cancer and the Knight of Cups to itself, okay? Or a couple new, a couple with a new baby going home for the first time with an infant and kind of, you know, out of sorts, not knowing what to do. Or an offer of love or friendship, Queen of Cups either crying in breakup or tears of joy, with love all around her or him, or just offering love to yourself and kids. So it could be a single mom with their kids. Uh, connected to water signs, Capricorn, Aries, Aquarius, feeling the love from Virgo, air signs, and turning their back on Sagittarius and lover or affection. Okay, so definitely you see. Capricorn Capricorn turning their back and there was a Queen of Cups was reversed on this yesterday and they both had their backs turned toward the lovers over here. So that could be the person that they broke up with. So Sag, Sag connected to Scorpio and Capricorn and this could be the kid involved. All right, so let's see what comes up for Capricorn now. Capricorn. That came right up. A whole bunch wants to come up too, but just the uh, injustice here. So they feel the injustice. A whole bunch that were popping out here. But let's see what here. Yeah, it's like they got a lot to say. Um, yeah, it could definitely be the person that got was dumped in this lover situation. Um, but they're also coming out, you know, feeling righteous, right? So. They're happy that they got dumped because, um, you know, they're on a quest. It was the best thing that ever happened to me, right? It's like a cover to protect themselves and help them heal. All right, because there's definitely that energy of, right, a bad childhood, bad history with this person, or just, you know, now they're by themselves with their children and have to deal with all the crap that their children are handing out, or maybe the crap that they she taught them to be because they could be spoiled and that kind of thing. And now they can't have everything because they split up and they don't have all the money they used to have. And this is the next card in that little pile, okay, is the truth. The truth is out, okay? Yep. There was somebody out of control, and that could be that person as well. I was definitely getting the emperor as a king of cups, but like a manipulative energy, a father of some sort holding all the money back, not helping anyone. So this, I was also getting a disconnect between a father and daughter. So this could be her father, like who she was always spoiled and now he's cut her off as well because she did something wrong he didn't like. Yep. Um, so a couple piles came up for this person because they have so much to say about the situation because they feel like it's unfair but nobody else thinks it's unfair. It's just their perspective is skewed. Um, it's, it's like a person who... You know how most people have, have less confidence than they actually need or are? This is the person who's overconfident, right? They think that they're more than they are. It's like, you know, egotistical or conceited, that type of thing, and they fall short of what they brag to be. Um, she's trying to get out all this information about sneakiness and half-truths of the King of Pentacles, which is the Scorpio. Um, them, them free, right? being able to do whatever they want and she's now the poor victim the wounded warrior now stuck trying to find peace 
and a, and a peace, safe place to live, right? So it's definitely energies of someone trying to get other people to feel sorry for themselves when they, you know, they've always been egotistical and insecure, um, but conceited, that kind of thing, okay? And these two are coming out as well, because these, these could be the kid energies, okay? That one's offering love to everyone, the one is, the other one is flapping their mouth, being mean, saying immature things, or giving the silent treatment. So there's a lot of, sorry Capricorn, not the greatest energy there. All right, so then we have Aquarius, which is the devil, horny devil with big head, player, actor, athlete, or on a quest or fight for conflict, or feeling crazy, or feeling too much energy, or radiation, or bats, uh, somebody uh, duping Libra, Pisces, or Capricorn, dipping in another's pond, but Scorpio may be calling them on it too close for comfort with Pisces or student or innocence that want to cater to the scary person or fighting to detox or awaken and kids now offering help. All right. So again, there's positive and negative. It's the positive. Positive. This is just representing Aquarius with Capricorn energy or, or with a normal Capricorn inner field. On the negative side, you just got all that information. Um, there definitely could be like someone who abuses children, who's, you know, the, the children should not be hanging around. And you see here that there's children on either side of them. Um, they, someone be, could be saying they've gone batty, um, but I was getting bat, someone could just have a bat problem. And like, this is someone rushing in to help. That's so funny because in my grandmother's house when I was little, when I was visiting them at, at age eight, um, a, a bat got in the house and I just remember hiding in the kitchen with my grandmother while my grandfather uh, got the bat out. And that could have to do with baseball bats as well. So someone might need a bat to get someone away. So someone feeling crazy or too much energy, again, that could be uh, if they have twins around them, they can't handle it, so it kind of makes them nuts. Uh, but they could be, Aquarius could definitely be trying to get one over on Libra, Pisces, Capricorn, or cheating, dipping in another's pond, but that could be with other people's children as well. But Scorpio here may have called them on it, and they're related to Sag too, which is why these two are connected. But sh this person should not have offered anything to this person because they don't—they're scary or they don't deserve it. But these guys are all on the right side, trying to help, even though they might have broken up with that person. Like trying to get them away from the bad influences. Yeah. Or just a mom who's who has uh, any kind of addiction and the kids are trying to help them. And they can't. Like they don't have the tools to do it. But they are being loving and trying to help. All right. So now we have Aquarius. Aquarius. I'm sorry. That was Aquarius. We had to clarify that. All right. So Aquarius, what are we coming up with today? What's going on with that? They don't want to say. <laughs> They're trying to hide. Uh, dealing with very uncomfortable energies at present. Um, not walking away or an, unable to walk away. Having to deal with what they've done. And being present to nothing. There's nothing there for them. All right. And that can be, you know, in a, in a nothing way, in a minor way, where you're just dealing with uncomfortable feelings, feeling uncomfortable inside your body as an Aquarius Capricorn person or Aquarius with Capricorn around you who makes you uncomfortable. Um, but just staying present, that there's nothing out there for you or everyone's left you because you're this evil person. Or um, then we have here, you know, there's a big debt created here. This Aquarius either owes a lot of money or debt to society or is just imbalanced in general, right? They could be kind of out of their mind. They could be just evil, actually. Um, these kind of cards are coming right afterwards. I'm not going to put them down, but just so you see. We have the Eight of Pentacles reversed, the Four of Pentacles reversed, and the Six of Wands reversed, okay? And then the um, Nine of Swords reversed after that, and then the Four of Wands reversed. So let's see what I'm getting from this. I was just getting someone move, being moved to a facility. And it could just be as simple as someone with Alzheimer's. Like they are out of their mind because they have Alzheimer's. All right. And then this one's coming up too. All right. So huh, 
So someone may be, um, some, whatever is going on, the imbalance, this, paying out debts or debt to society, whatever it is, it is not working or they're not working or they're overworking and going out of their head because they're so stressed. Um, needing to let go of money or pay these bills in order to repair or pay back debts, um, their debt to society as well. Then we have um, that six of wands of feeling like a failure or no longer getting attention or all of this happening because they were a needy person uh, just can be bad news for them. It can be failure and just not getting attention or not wanting the attention now trying to stay under the radar because all this bad attention is out there for them. Then with the nine of swords reversed um, could definitely be going through purging cycles um, getting worse or headaches are getting worse, right? So somebody could have a brain tumor as well here. And this is why they've be, been behaving the way they are. They have a brain tumor and no one knows about it. And this is going to get them the help that they need. Then we have the four of wands, which is reversed. So someone's definitely moving or a marriage is ending or they're being placed in another home. Or they're just unstable in general. And then we have the seven of pentacles reversed coming out as well which is about um, having to let go of everything they have, everything they've saved for, everything, all the rewards they reaped. Normally this may be moving to the next cycle, but here it may be that they, their money's all been taken from them, their house may be repossessed. So there's a lot of stuff going on for Aquarius here. Um, and then we have the, the, another card that came out was the, um, the uh, Knight of Pentacles reversed, which could be... Um, all due to stubbornness or refusing to work or it could just be needing like the universe is doing this to the Aquarius to make you be still because you need to connect to your higher self right making it's forcing your you to stop working so that you connect to yourself um, and then from there you can have find new inspiration this can also just have to do with two kids one that's stubborn and one that's inspired the stubborn one can be a little lazy as well or this can be, you know, no balls to do the right thing either, okay? But then this is from being still to find inspiration again, okay? To find your happiness, what emotional fulfillment really is. So then we have Pisces, which is the page of pentacles, a student or opportunity or invitation to cry or purge. Or Pisces may be feeling overwhelmed without options after dumping all the good stuff. Uh, it could be one thing or one person in particular, feeling burdened by the weight of the world, connected to Scorpio, Capricorn, possibly Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, Libra, and Cancer, which seemed like this child was connected to everyone, or overwhelmed seeing synchronicities or too many options confusing them, no one told her about something, or associated with an air sign female who lies to get her way, or crazy seeing stars or doesn't believe in dreams, um, and just naysayers around. So they could be pursuing their dreams and have all these negative people around or one specific female who's lying or maybe a boyfriend who's uh, confusing them. They don't know why they're behaving the way they are. But this air sign female who lies to get her way, so this very much could be, uh, it could be anything. It could be this Aquarius energy. It could be related to Leo and Gemini here. Um, not so much Leo I'm getting for that female liar. It's more Aquarius and Gemini, but could be Leo as well, who has air in their chart, okay? Okay, so let's see what Pisces comes up with, and then we'll go up to the summary cards. I was just seeing 5400 exactly, which is the page of wands, right? So the, uh, I heard the news today, oh boy, so that was coming out, and plus the page of wands is, you know, literally the kids spreading the news messages it could be a child doing it as we're looking at a child all right so this is the page of pentacles and what we're getting for them today we'll connect these to the queen of pentacles over here so the queen of pentacles next to them could be their mother all right so the page of pentacles which I told you around, they're kind of feeling 
maybe abusers, manipulators, liars around them, naysayers, and they're just pursuing their dreams. They're a little manifester, but they're good at what they do. And no, everyone around them is maybe jealous of the abilities that they have as such a young person. Um, here, it's coming up very positive. They're, they're great on their own. You see the emotional fulfillment of being a person on their own. Maybe a little bit of arrogance there. But then the financial situation is a little different because they're young. They may not have the money to back up their confidence. Um, they may be spending too much and need to budget more or maybe emotionally satisfied on their own but not financially uh, and need to empower themselves more, all right? And not let other people take advantage of them, right? Like this guy next to them, right? This is definitely someone they do not need to be around or associate with. They need to know who, who they have to trust their feeling, their body, their, you know, to know uh, who's scamming them and who's trustworthy, right? Who's selling them, you know, who's selling them pipe dream? Who's selling them something real? So needing to disempower themselves more. And fortunately, I don't feel anything negative here. Um, just that they need, you know, they might have been knocked off their high horse financially and practically because they need to reset themselves and understand how the world is. But this is very powerful energy for a child. That's amazing that they have both of those energies together. It could be um, uh, an adult as well, an adult Pisces, uh, just learning how to manifest or learning something new or acting like a child uh, in a practical way, right? Feeling like they've always needed help from other people, but now finding their way, all right? So that's really beautiful, actually. Um, someone they could have been sick to, someone might have done something practically to them that hurt them, but they're, re they're recovering from it very well, okay? They just need to get back on their feet as far as finances and their power and their empowerment. Um, also their independence, right? So they have their happiness back. Now they just need to get back on their feet in a practical way. So it could have been someone who was in the hospital for a while too, right? So they have to kind of rebuild and start from scratch. They're happy now, but physically they're not quite recovered yet or financially, and they have to, um, you know, take some time to get back on their feet. This could be emotionally detaching from clinginess, near-death experience. Like I said, someone could have been in the hospital, had a near-death experience, um, or just, it just really still tired because they almost died, okay? And they have to det emotionally detach in order to recover physically or practically, okay? And this is connected to the mother as well. This could be a partner as well. Uh, this person may need to detach from what they did to this person. This person could have caused, it could be a child or an adult, who caused this person, the mother or partner, to lose a lot of money um, because they were emotionally detached um, and knee and clingy, not letting go to what they need to let go of. So because of that loss, caused their own loss, but also this person to lose as well. But I'm not getting real negativity from this person to this person. It's just the situation. It could be, you know, mom, dad, and child as well. So they're not in agreement on how to spend the money or now need to come together on the same page. But there's some disparaging differences there. Um, these two cards kind of wanted to come up as well. So again, the same thing as Sagittarius there, where the intentions were good to run in, but they fell short. And kind of fell into a coma. Somebody could have gone into a coma. Or fallen into just over isolating. Mental illness. And needing to come out now. But just still the energy is frazzled. So they need to kind of recover. So let's see what else is coming up for these after cards. Um, and the, I'll tell you the summary I got from them. In just a minute. So let's just move this over so you can see those cards. Okay. So we have... The Queen of Pentacles, the King of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Children in the Garden, the Six of Cups. So the Queen of Pentacles and King of Wands, side by side, getting to the bottom of something, stuck in emotions, possibly about insincerity of one or the other, 
trying to find peace, feeling jealous, or just getting to the bottom of where is the love, the love. So that came up the other day. And offering love to create peace after silence and lots of synchronicities linked to learning about the gold, the gold coin, God's coin, the energy, Christ consciousness, or third child, unexpected or aborted, or needing courage to tell the kids or twin, or news about Leo or ego out of control about new love or innocence of twin or kids, or news or messages that Leo is out of here to bring back the love, the love. Okay, so now I'm going to pull you some cards on that. This is, this is for everyone, summary for all signs. And that's really beautiful energy. It's about, it's about the true love coming together and finding the real love, okay? So we have kids, twins, new love, new child, all sorts of beautiful family energies as we close out the cancer season. We're going to be coming back into the love, okay? So let's see what it clarifies as. All right. So right now, this, the Six of Cups is reversed. So this could be the past returning. It could be, you know, dealing with that negative past, whether it's past life or your past in your childhood or just the person you're with and a negative past between you and sorting it out. And it could be kids who are a problem for you right now and needing to discuss the children and how what you're going to do from here, you know, what you're going to do to help them. And that can involve, right, Pis Pisces again. So there could be one or two children here. I kept getting two children in a couple different spots, so this may relate to specifically people with two kids. Um, and then we're also we also have coming out here the truth about the emperor reversed. Um, it could just be about ego death, the truth about ego death, and explaining it to each other and children, but also about an emperor who's out of control or may have passed a grandfather, something like that, or someone had to be put in a facility because his mind was you know the kids don't understand that he was getting Alzheimer's or whatever the case. Or the truth about him being an evil man, literally. All right. So a couple different scenarios there. And then a few more clarifiers want to come out here. Um, the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Temperance reversed. The Eight of Wands reversed again. And the Seven of Wands reversed. So again, reiterating those two energies. But... Um, in wanting to manifest or magnetize a new start or someone just playing hardball or playing sports ball, you know, or magnetizing the Christ consciousness, all of those things, there's some impatience there, okay, to get your wings. <laughs> and then um, because of the impatience, somebody's impatient because they do want to express their feelings but they can't at the moment, feeling defenseless um, to the energies that are coming into the earth, just the way you feel physically, but also feeling other people attacking you, but no longer caring, but just can't express anything yet because the situation has to die down. So that's what I'm getting there. Uh, let's see here. And then anything else want to come out here? Yeah, I mean, I can go on forever because <laughs> it goes on to the same stuff, really, that went on with um, Aquarius as I go on here. So it's just reiterating all that crap about a mental issue or someone who really is, uh, you know, has an evil side, but they also could have a mental disease or need to be you know, institutionalized because they're dangerous to other people. Okay. And then we end up on the bottom of the deck with the Ace of Cups reversed, right? which isn't a negative thing because it's present. It can have to do with just purging it out, all those last little juices. It could be drink, you know, dumping out everything. It could, be dump, it could be throwing up. It could be dumping out alcohol, dumping out addictions in general, squeezing out all the water from you, finding a way to get rid of bloating. Um, can be being dumped as well. It could also be just um, forcing you into lowering your energy so that the masculine can meet you halfway. Okay, so the bottom of the deck, the other cards here underneath. So these are some of the other underlying energies coming up with the mini deck. This is the underlying energy that goes from the bottom. So again, you see here, this was this energy about 
the um, Capricorn being defensive and feeling the victim that everyone else is free and woe is me. Um, trying to find a peaceful place inside themselves, right? Because this could be um, shipping kids back and forth as well, right? So when the kids come to me, how am I supposed to find peace, right? Poor me, poor me. And then this is the Wheel of Fortune upright. Uh, maybe the, the, you know, the, the bird or the geese needs to be schooled. This is someone who's flapping their wings constantly, um, who needs to be checked. Okay, too much confidence. This one cools them off, right, with their sword and their truth. And here is growing roots up. That could definitely be connecting to the etheric realms, but also expansion, connecting, playing, doing sports, fighting, all of those things. Okay, so all of those things can be related to why this is here. Okay, whether it's a fight or expansion and growth. Either way, the emotions can be squeezed out and pushed down. And it's like um, getting pushed, someone pushing your buttons as well. I'm getting um, <laughs> I'm getting a pump as well. So it could definitely be someone wanting to have sex as well. But it can also be anything that you know, like at um at a bar, you know at a tap, so someone getting tapped as well, which be, may be an expression used, and it's not something I say, but um, that's coming up as well. Um, unfortunately, with this energy, I'm getting that there could have been um, sex without permission, or in other words, rape. That could definitely be energies coming up here, and someone, and here, that person being someone with a big mouth, all right, that told, okay? All right, guys, I think that's enough. It's 107. Bye.